Hey all, welcome to the Hardly A Week podcast. This week we're going to go through the questionnaire that my friend has sent me where I'm helping them with the cyber stalking thing. Um, there's a lot more to come out of this and we're going to have a look at, as we can see, the two-factor authentication uh, for Apple today because we're going to go through and discuss some of the considerations here that I'm interested in looking into. So I've got a meeting uh, in four days time on Wednesday. Um, I'm recording this early, but uh, we're going to be going through and, and having a look at some of the security settings to see potentially what may have changed. Um, they believe that the cyber stalker or their ex themselves uh, is technically savvy enough. So we're going to be looking into that. Um, but to look through the questionnaire now, so it looks like they've got quite a lot of Apple devices. Um, so we're going to be having a look at that. That's why I've got up this two-factor authentication ID now, because I'm interested in the sync and backup and also the security around that. Um, so it looks like they've got two phones. They've got a MacBook. They've got an old Windows XP laptop. So we're, I'm probably going to be looking at getting rid of that. Um, they've got some wireless speaking speakers and headsets. So uh, I need to look into the models for those to see what functionality they have. Um, if it's just Bluetooth, then it should be completely fine. Uh, Bluetooth is generally okay to go into secure buildings. Um, there's not too much there that you can do with them. Um, there is a Wi-Fi router which is managed by their building management, so I'm interested to see where that is in the building um, and if we can get into the management portal still. Um, I, so on, yeah, like on Wednesday I'm going to be going around and, and having a look at the place as well um, just to see if we can find other devices also. Uh, the data that they want to back up is email, text message, um, i and text message. So iMessage is the Apple um, text message. This is why I'm looking at the sync because we're going to be looking to back that up and move it to another device. Uh, photos and personal files is fine. That should be easy to back up. We're just going to back that up onto a hard drive and we will sort that out later. Um, the social media accounts, so they have Facebook. They did say that they want to probably just delete that forever. They're not worried about that. Um, then there's things like banking apps, YouTube music, and a YouTube account. So that's linked to a Google account. So um, I'm more familiar with Google account security. So we're going to be looking through that as well. Um, I will try and film some of it and then do more editing and blur out the details. Uh, I think I also had banking apps. So they've got three different banking apps. So we're going to be looking through all three of those for their security. Um, we're also going to be looking at two-factor authentication. I know one of the banks is NAB. Um, I have NAB myself and I have struggled before with having more security on the account. So um, potentially we'll discuss uh, which accounts are needed. Maybe we can um, reduce the amount of bank accounts here. Uh, we can talk to the banks themselves, see which ones have really good security, which ones will agree to in-person security measures. Um, and then maybe move the money around there. Uh, and then the last thing was what other details might you be worried about? So potentially their ID. Um, so that's just a matter of going to get that fixed. This is a tough one. Breaches, IDs are often breached um, as part of just like companies that get compromised. So your details most likely are out there um, because this is more personal with cyber stalking. Um, a new ID could be really good. Uh, we're also going to talk about whether they're considering to move. Um, it would be better if we, uh, if they moved and then they got a new ID. Um, so we'll look into that as well. But so today, uh, I wanted to have a look through, uh, this, so two font, two factor authentication, um, for Apple. So I was just having a read through this because uh, so Apple's whole ecosystem is built on ease of use for the single person. Now if you've had a attacker compromise your ecosystem I guess of devices and they've added themselves as trusted devices but then they have them and this is the issue because it's meant to be oh, I can be doing something on my phone, move to my laptop, continue to do that thing. Um, if I get asked for an uh, like a 2FA push 
um, it might go to the watch and then you can accept that on the watch again now if you don't have these devices on you I'm, I'm unsure whether there's like proximity um, restrictions in place so let's say you need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network or um, the devices have to know that they're within 10 meters of each other um, now this itself isn't as secure as you would think if it gave it like a 10 meter range and let's say um, my friends out at a cafe and the cyber stalker is stalking them and they're trying to get into their account and they get within 10 meters and they can trigger that authentication code where it connects that way um, there's a lot of unknowns here for me because it's not Apple is not devices that I normally use um, I can see here that you can turn it on for your Apple ID so assumedly you can not have this on at all potentially someone's turned it off um, the first time you sign in with your Apple ID on a new device, new device. So I'm hoping that their account lists the current devices connected that are trusted. Um, if we can go through that and go all the devices that are here, we have in our possession, that's good. Um, don't have a trusted device. So it looks like there's also a trusted phone number. So we'll be looking in the account to make sure that this is actually a number that my friend controls as well. Um, so we need to go to the security section for this. A trusted device is an iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, Apple Watch or Mac that you've already signed into using your two-factor authentication. The device that we know is yours. Yeah. So this will be similar to the Google um, security settings is uh, they have a very similar thing on on their back end in the security settings where you can go through and look at the devices currently connected um, we will be doing that um, we'll also be creating all new accounts anyway uh, this is mainly just to see the state of play um, and to help remove some of the paranoia around um, what is potentially happening so I will try and capture um, as I'm looking through um, the security settings and then I'll blur out personal details um, just so you can see what I'm seeing when I'm doing this kind of thing and then edit them into the hardly a week uh, yeah so hopefully this is just a quick update um, it didn't need to be a long one today because I was meant to catch up with my friend this weekend but it got too busy so we're going to do it on Wednesday instead um, yeah super interesting uh, and I've had some good engagement out there from this kind of thing. So it seems like this has affected some people before or, or people are just concerned about their own personal safety uh, online. So uh, this will be a good one. If you've got Apple, we're going to go through and check the security settings. But thanks everyone for watching this week. If you like my content, please jump onto my YouTube and subscribe, comment, like. Um, any engagement is good for me. If you want more stuff, you can check out my website, hardlyadequate.com. Um, where you can get lots of more content and links and there's other podcasts that I'm on. Uh, if you want to support, there's a way to donate there. But as always, like, subscribe, word of mouth helps me out quite a lot. So thanks everyone and I will catch you all next week.